This guide shows you how to upgrade iDrive. First of all, go down to the clock in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on the arrow just here. Then find this icon just here, the red padlock. Move your mouse over it and click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. Then move your mouse up to check for latest version and click the left mouse button once. It then says, do you want to upgrade to the latest version of iDrive? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. If this window appears, move your mouse over run and left click once. If this appears, then left click save file. Then when the arrow up in the top right hand corner turns blue, left click once and then move your mouse over iDrive Win Setup and left click once. If this window appears, wait until the figures disappear underneath iDrive Win Setup and then left click once. And if it comes up, what do you want to do with iDrive Win Setup? Move your mouse over run. And again, left click once. Now with whatever you've uh, downloaded via, you should all be now at do you want to run this file? Move your mouse over run and left click once. It will now say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer? Make sure here it says iDrive. Make sure the Verify Publisher is Pro Softnet Corporation and the file origin is downloaded from the internet. If these match, move your mouse over yes and left click once. If they don't match, move your mouse over no and left click once. So here it says ensure that there is no backup restore operation in progress. If so, stop the job and then proceed with the installation iDrive application is found in C program files, iDrive Windows. Would you like to uninstall the current version and install the new version? Well, let's just check just to make sure there's nothing in progress. So let's just click the arrow just down here again and then right click on the E, move your mouse up to start iDrive. And then after a few seconds, now this might take a few seconds for something to come up. It's uh, not instant, so please be patient with it. OK, so here if something was running, you'd have a progress bar at the bottom here. But here it says next schedule event is not until later on. So we can close this down. Move your mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner and left click once. Then it says, would you like to quit the application? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. Then we can move our mouse over yes here, and again, left click once. At this point, if we've got a window open behind us, we can move our mouse over the cross here and left click, or we can alternatively just leave it for the time being. So now it's uninstalled in the old version of iDrive, and what it will do is once it's uninstalled, it'll install the new version. Of iDrive. There you go, so that's now uninstalled. So it says iDrive Setup Wizard. Install iDrive version 6.7.1.42. Now this would obviously change if uh, this is an old video. So uh, let's move our mouse over next and left click once. Move your mouse over I agree and left click once. Move your mouse over next and left click once. The, it will say the folder. Uh, C program files iDrive Windows already exists. Would you like to install in that folder anyway? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. It's now starting to install iDrive. Please be patient as this may take some time. It's now finishing the installation. And there we go, iDrive has now loaded. We don't need to mess about with any configuration. So just move your mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner and left click once to close it. Then it says, would you like to quit the application? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. And that's it. That's how you upgrade iDrive for Windows. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching.